Hello everybody, this is Noah Glazer with LegendZelda.net. This is my first Let's Play addition to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess walkthrough. In the past, all my walkthroughs have been done with no voice narration, but after some feedback, I decided uh, that was the way to go, so hope you guys all enjoy this very first installment of my Let's Play Twilight Princess. For all of you who are new to watching my walkthroughs, I am playing the GameCube version of Twilight Princess, so things are a little bit different from the Wii. If you would like to see the Wii version, I recommend going over and visiting my friend's uh, Twilight Princess walkthrough. Uh, you can get to him under the Affiliates tab on my channel page, and it's Zelda Master 2010. He has a really great Let's Play for the Wii version of this game. So here we are, I just beat the Goron's Mines and I am going to be working my way to the Lanaru province and uh, first I need to buy some bombs. So I worked my way down Kakariko Village and uh, just bought a bomb bag with bombs in it. With the bombs now uh, in my pocket, I am going to go back, jump on Epona, and start working my way towards Lenaro. Alright, so I'm on Epona now, and I'm going to just exit towards Hyrule Field. Very quickly, like. After a long black screen, it will load, and here we are in Hyrule Field. Jump over the fence, and work my way northeast. Because this is the other version, the other version will be on the other side. Alright, now that I'm up here, uh, there are some boulders that are going to be blocking my way, and that's why we need to buy those bombs. So make sure you buy the bombs in advance, otherwise you're going to be running around in circles, and uh, that can get pretty frustrating. So I'm going to blow up this rock here. Boom. Jump back on, and continue on my way. Now this annoying postman is going to interrupt me. I absolutely hate this character. Not sure why Nintendo decided to make him look so weird like this and have such an annoying voice, but whatever the case, I got a letter from the guy I just bought the bombs from, and I'm not going to bother to open it because I don't care that much. So I'm going to keep on going on my way. There briefly, but I haven't played this game in many years. I've actually played the Princess once the entire time I've had it. I started to play it again a couple of years ago, but the Wii broke, so I lost all the progress I had made. I was playing the Wii version at that time. But thankfully, for GameCube, I can just use my memory card. I have no problems with that. Cross this bridge here. Chase by this bird that I just really don't want to kill. I'm kind of a run away from enemies I'm kind of person. I don't care enough to actually stop and fight them. So unless I'm getting sworn that I actually need to, I'm not going to. And here we are again. You can blow up these boulders, get through, so jump off, let these guys hit me a few more times. I'll finally kill them. That guy's been pretty annoying. Blow this up, go back to Epona. And that's good. Now, at this point, 
some of these shadow beasts are going to drop down from the sky as we see in that twilight portal take away the bridge leaving me trapped Run back there so I can fight them. This will create a portal that I can warp to later. As you will to defeat one of these guys, the portal, portal becomes a portion of an area that I can reach by asking them to the places. Now remember, you have to beat these guys all at the same time. You can't leave just one of them alive or it revives all of them. So the spin attack is the best method for that, as you just saw. Now they go back up in the sky, and that is that for them. I'm gonna go get back on my horse. Grab some hearts. Go the wrong way for a second. Just wanna look around. Bridge all gone. So, can't go back that way. Then, for some reason, Epona turns the wrong way. In either case, I'm going to finish going across and work my way to where I need to be. Twilight. So I'm going to leave my horse friend behind at this point, and I'm going to enter the Twilight Realm once again with the help of Minda. Yep. Right, she says there's only one fused shadow left that we need, so that will hopefully come pretty easily for me. I have not played this upcoming dungeon in quite some time, so... You guys may have to bear with me in the future editions of this as I get lost a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't happen though. I'm gonna say yes and here we go, I'm entering the Twilight Realm once again. Doing so will once again turn me into Wolf Link. So shortly hereafter, as you will see in just a minute, I'm going to be Learning the scent, learning a new scent so I can track down Ilya, and from there I will be able to find my next objective. Right up here. There it is. A little pink thing that you can see in the distance. That is her purse. That's where we're getting her scent from. Little flashback. Yep, that's her. I'm not sure if I actually made that promise, but I guess I have to keep it. Then I forget to youth scent and learn hers. And now I will be able to follow the pink cloud dust stream and find where it's just located. Alright, there it is. I'm going to follow this for quite some time. It is going to be taking me into Hyrule Market. You see there in the distance, you can see the castle. And I'm going to be going through the marketplace and finding where she is at. I like to jump bomb Wolf Link. I don't know if it's any faster, but Minda makes a weird noise and Link barks, so it amuses me for the long walks that I have to make. 
Like this one. Now, if any of you guys have any suggestions for any of the future videos, I would love to hear them. This is my first Let's Play edition, so I am very new to this. I'm not exactly sure what I should be saying at times, so give me some advice. I would love to hear it. I take all feedback for grain of salt, so don't even feel bad to insult me. Do anything. I don't care. I just want to learn from this experience and see how I can make some of my videos better for the future. Alright, black screen, getting closer now, Almost there. Entering the town market now. Alright, after a brief little semantic here, gonna show the market off a little bit. As you can see, there is a bunch of green spirits, which is people in their twilight form that I can only see if I use my uh, Wolf Link's sensory vision by pressing the X button. But. This, I feel this town market was a lot better than Ocarina of Times. The castle was supposed to be the big, like, gathering place where all the transactions take place and everything. But there wasn't anybody there. But in Twilight Princess's town market, there's a lot of things going on. A lot of people just kind of idly walking and chatting. Which I think was a nice, um, nice little development feature to put in there. It adds some interactivity to the game and makes it feel less, less empty. And just follow this through the back alleys of the market. She was apparently in the medical clinic at one point, but is no longer, so I'm going to keep on going. I am nearing the end of this, and here we go, right in there. And as you can see, she is laying, sitting there, and uh, there is someone else laying there that I will get to here soon. Alright, it's a little Zora boy. Uh, he will come into the game later on. We'll see a much bigger role for him here in the future. But she can't see me. I can see her, but she can't see me, so not much I can do with her now. So that, that is that. Alright, she tells me to listen to the soldiers pretty much. Hints at it. The soldiers know more than she would. But yet, I need to go back in there. I forgot to actually look at the soldiers. Now I'm talking about it. Alright, so I need to go into the back corner. And there's a map there I need to check out, which will tell me the exact location that I need to head. That red dot. See, right there. So... I'll now just listen to see what they have to say about this, if it lets me talk to them. Well, they were far from helpful, but whatever the case, I'm going to continue on my way now. going to follow the pink stream out of here make things a little bit easier since I tend to get lost 
very bad with navigation, so my if I ever start going in circles, just give me <laughs> Alright, I'm almost out of the castle square now, and I will be back in Hyrule Field in just a second. As a reminder for all of you who may have forgotten, I am going to be following the red dot that I saw on the map inside of the pub next to the knight. Alright, so I'm back outside in Hyrule Field now. And uh, I need to just warp my way to the lake. Check my map. See that red dot down at the bottom? And I'm going to take the left path and warp my way down. See once again I just ran I just run by the enemies. I don't really feel like actually fighting them if I can jump at them real quick and knock them down. That's good enough for me. I just do, do not want to waste my time fighting all these guys because that will end up taking forever. I'm gonna head towards this bridge again. This game seems to have a lot of bridges, but this is the Great Bridge. So this one's special. You see underneath it is the lake, so I'm going to cross, or start to cross, and run into a wall. Genius. And uh, all of a sudden, Link smells something. It is uh, oil, gasoline kind of oil, and uh, an archer to catch this on fire, and it's going to start working its way towards us, so we obviously have to get off this bridge because he is trapping us in. That's on one side of us. Blocking us out from going that way. Now he's gonna start it going the other way to try and seal us in. So I'm just going to uh, jump up on this box, push it towards the side a little bit, climb up. And jump. It's a pretty big fall, fall, but thankfully there's a lake underneath it that will help cushion our landing. Just hope he doesn't do a belly flop. And this is Lake Hylia. Alright, well, I'm going to swim out of this lake, up this way. Towards that brightly colored house. And I'm going to check out this clown, depressed clown guy. Really weird character. Once again, Nintendo's attempt to be funny when they're just being weird as hell. I hate their characters, but whatever talk to him and uh, he's going to see an enemy that he mistakes for a customer yep that's a customer sir yeah there we go it's a monster finally realized it so I'm going to go over there and try to kill it He's going to pick up this uh, plant over here and call in one of those flying twilight monsters to jump aboard and then it's going to be us up to us to take him off of it. I'm 
Now, I told my girlfriend she could fight the next boss. She saw me uh, fighting Virus back in the Gora Mines and she wanted to fight the next boss. So I told her this was one, just to give her a chance. So, this might take a while. This might actually take a very long while. If I recall correctly, this took a good amount of time. And uh, thankfully I had a fairy on me, as you will see here shortly. But she will prevail and she will kill this thing. Just have to give her some time. But for all of you who uh, want to get to the point, uh, this guy is pretty simple. Uh, he flies around and when he gets close to the ground, you just got to jump and lunge at him. You will then... Um, Cling on to him where you can do like a uh, press your A button to bite at him rapidly and claw at him and then he'll break free and you just repeat that a couple of times and uh, that will pretty much take care of him. So now I'm just gonna watch my girlfriend try to take this guy down. I think she gets a hit here this next time. There it is. See, bite, press A rapidly to do some attacks once attached to the guy. Gets grabbed again <laughs> and flung. Seems to be having some trouble here. I told her this was the easiest flying boss in the game. She does not believe me. Now he is going to take her for a very long ride. I actually found it pretty interesting how long they decided to make this flying away cutscene. It's a little bit obnoxious that uh, it takes this long to hit Link. And he finally throws him back down to the ground where she is almost dead. And her fairy comes out. My fairy at least it was. So how long to follow from like, the beginning of the game. Get him here, maybe? Nope. Gets her eventually. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Did not remember it taking this long watching it. Here we go. Nope. Come on. I know she beats it soon, if that helps any of you guys. Sorry to make you take this long, but I had to let my girlfriend play. If she asked, you kind of have to say yes. All of you in a relationship know that. Finally knocks him off of the thing. Thank God, right? Just don't let him know I said that. Now it's the good archer. And with him dead, Minda is going to uh, jump off of us and go take that thing for ourselves. Come down, pick us up, and we're going to control the flying twilight out, and it's going to take us through a uh, kind of like a cave-like structure to the other side of the lake. Part's pretty easy. You just have to avoid some uh, falling stalactites, stalagmites. I don't know the difference. Avoid those and avoid the archers. If you uh, run into a wall or get hit by one of these falling structures, you have to restart the beginning of the cave. So it's best not to do that. So I'm just flying my way up here. I am back in control of this now, for all of you who are wondering. 
that me too. I'm gonna go underneath this one. Up above this one. And make my way pretty easily out of this place. It's not that hard, really. Sidestep it. out of the cave after this uh, this portion of uh, my let's play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess walkthrough will be completed I hope you guys have enjoyed this once again uh, this is my first attempt at doing a let's play addition to the walkthrough so feel free to leave me any uh, comments I would love to hear from you guys let me know what you think of the video quality the audio quality anything in general i would love to hear some comments i really appreciate the feedback from you guys uh if you guys would like the video that would be great and uh if you guys would like some future updates don't forget to subscribe and uh once again thank you very much until next time this is noah glazer from legendzelda.net Thank mm -hmm. you.